Manchester United face Liverpool on Sunday, with Salah set to be given much attention by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his coaching staff. The Red Devils enter the match on a high, having won 11 of their last 13 outings since Solskjaer replaced Jose Mourinho as manager back in December. But Liverpool, this Liverpool, will be no pushovers. And, in Salah, they possess one of the Premier League's standout players. Like last year, the Egypt international is driving their quest for honours. And he will enter the game as the joint top Premier League scorer, barring some heroics from Arsenal's Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang this weekend. How Manchester United must rue their failure to get him. In 2017, Liverpool's deal for Salah went under the radar. At pounds 37 million, he was a bargain. United, that same summer, opted to go big. Literally. In came Romelu Lukaku who, with 27 goals from 51 games, just about lived up to his £75 million price tag. United then followed up the deal by signing Alexis Sanchez from Arsenal in January. No price tag, but not much to sing about either. Six goals in 18 months is a poor return for the Chile international. And, like Sanchez, Lukaku also appears to be on borrowed time. This summer, United will enter the transfer market aiming for a marquee name once again. Jadon Sancho and Gareth Bale have been linked, but, despite both being fine players, neither are on Salah's level. The Liverpool star is a huge asset and United made a huge transfer mistake by not signing him. A mistake they are still looking to rectify this summer, nearly two years on. Meanwhile, Salah has been the source of interest from Juventus, according to reports. But old lady chief Fabio Paratici has ruled out of departure for the Liverpool talisman. United are likely to spend big this summer. A defender is top of their list with Napoli's Caladou Calibably supposedly a target. But whether or not they are able to rectify the Salah mistake remains to be seen.